Good morning, this is Brian at the National Weather Service in Topeka. This is a 6 a.m. winter weather briefing uh, regarding the potential for hazardous winter weather between Monday night and early Wednesday morning of this week. We're currently expecting widespread snowfall of anywhere from 4 to 9 inches uh, through this period with increasing winds late in the event with uh, blowing and drifting snow expected as well. Uh, this should occur across all of northeast Kansas, the entire forecast area. Uh, as far as timing goes, we expect the snow to begin Monday evening and rapidly increase early on Tuesday with the peak intensity during the daytime hours on Tuesday. Uh, snow should come to an end by early Wednesday with some blowing and drifting continuing through the day on Wednesday. This storm system is still a couple days away, but as far as timing goes, we've got moderate confidence right now. It will be a long duration snow event. Uh, the main uncertainty lies in exactly when snowfall will start and end. Uh, again, we do also expect that wind to be increasing late on Tuesday and early Wednesday. As far as the location of the snow, uh, we have uh, moderate confidence uh, with the entire area expected to have accumulating snow. That's pretty certain, uh, but the location of the highest accumulations remain uncertain. Uh, as far as precipitation type, we do expect almost entirely snow for this event. Uh, there is a small chance that we could see a bit of sleet mix in, uh, especially across east central Kansas, but if it does, it would be brief, and uh, basically everybody should see a majority of snow. Uh, in regards to amounts of snow, we've got moderate uh, confidence that a broad area of four to nine inches of snow will fall across the entire area. There is some small chance of lesser amounts uh, you know up around Cloud and Republic County and then also down closer to Coffee and Anderson County but again pretty uh, pretty good confidence that four to nine inches will fall. Um, the heaviest bands could also have slightly more uh, snowfall uh, if conditions set up perfectly. I'd like to draw your attention to the timeline graphic at the top of the page here. Uh, notice we've got the winter storm watch in effect from 6 p.m on Monday until 6 a.m. on Wednesday and that's a long duration of a watch but we do expect lighter snowfall initially with the heaviest snow falling uh, on Tuesday as the storm intensity uh, maxes out then over the area and then going to lighter snow for a period yet on Tuesday night into early Wednesday morning. Uh, then also notice that the winds will steadily increase through the day on Tuesday with the strongest winds coming Tuesday night into early Wednesday, we could have some 25 to 35 mile per hour gusts out of the north before gradually decreasing again. As far as impacts, we can expect dangerous travel as we often can with winter weather. Uh, we'll have moderate to occasionally heavy snowfall rates. And then again, the increasing north winds will cause reduced visibility and moderate blowing and drifting of snow is expected. And then finally, it becomes bitterly cold as this storm system exits the area. Wednesday morning wind chills from negative 10 to negative 17 are expected. It won't warm up much at all on Wednesday. And then Thursday morning wind chills could be down around negative 12 to negative 20 degrees. So def definitely something to keep in mind uh, with this storm system as it comes to an end. This has been the winter weather briefing uh, produced at 6 a.m. on February 2nd. Uh, stay tuned to uh, Facebook, Twitter, your local television or radio station, and weather.gov Topeka for future updates.